Hi. I just want to go over sizing branch circuits for fixed electric heating or space heating loads based off the 2015 Canadian Electrical Code. So space heating loads or fixed electric resistive heating loads, they have their very own section in the code book. That section is section 62. And now section 62 has two rules that we are going to deal with when we're sizing branch circuit wire and a branch circuit overcurrent for heating loads. 62-110 talks about conductors. It basically tells us conductors need to be able to handle the load. So in this case, we are dealing with a three kilowatt heater, uh, 240 volts single phase with a 75 degree termination temperature using RW90 wire. Well, in this case for our load, we are gonna go 3000 watts divided by 240 volts, which is gonna give us 12.5 amps. That's the load that our wire needs to be able to carry. Well, in this case, we take our 12.5 amps, we go with our load directly to table two. In this case, table two, using the 75 degree column due to our 75 degree termination temperature, we end up with a number 14 gauge wire, which is good for 20 amps. Perfect. Then when we are going into sizing our overcurrent device, what we do is we're back into section 62. We are going to go down to 62-114. Now 62-114 tells us if you have an overcurrent device, your allowable ampacity of your conductor cannot exceed 80% the rating of the breaker. So what this means is because the allowable ampacity of our wire cannot exceed 80%, what we do is we take the wire ampacity, which we got from table two, and we divide by 0 0.8. So we go 20 amps, which is the allowable ampacity of our wire. We divide by 0 0.8, and that gives us 25 amps. So our breaker can be a 25 amp breaker. We're going to take this number and we take that number to table 13. Luckily for us, there is a 25 amp breaker available on table 13, so we get a 25 amp overcurrent. If a 25 amp overcurrent did not exist, sub rule 8 tells us we are allowed to go to the next higher level. So if we there was no 25 amp breaker, we would go up one level and we would get to a 30. But there is a 25, so we're gonna take a 25. Now, something's happened here. We've taken a 14 gauge and put it on a 25 amp wire. 14104 does not apply. The reason is section 62 is a supplementary section in the code book, which means it supplements or amends the general requirements of the code. So because section 62 says we can do this, we can do it and we don't need to worry about the breaker size on that number 14. So just a quick recap, you are going to take your load directly to table 2. Then you're going to take your wire ampacity divide by 0 0.8 and you're going to take that number to table 13. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope that helps you size branch circuit wire and overcurrent devices. Thank you.